All right, folks. I hope everybody is doing great. Oh, just give me a second to take my headphones and put them on. Ah, yeah, that's much better. Well, hello, everybody. I hope everyone is doing great. Everyone is fine. Everyone is well. And today is a kind of big day. We're here to introduce you to our new library, the Watchkeeper. Here how it looks like. And first of all, um, I see the Raisin Flakes asked a really important question. When will you be able to download or purchase the library? Well, actually, you're able to pre-purchase it right now. Uh, we wanted to tell you that you can download it and hear all the awesome sounds right now. But we experienced some technical issues with the installer. So we hope that it will take max of 24 hours before it will be officially out and you will be able to download it. So just a little of patience and you will enjoy all the sounds you need all the sounds you want to hear, I promise you. So, um, a little story behind the library itself. Um, none of us at Keep Forest have a beard or enough muscles to feel themselves like Vikings. Yeah, really. So we asked the CEO to actually <laughs> compensate it somehow and create this library with all the brutal stuff inside. But yeah. Jokes aside, we've recorded a tons of stuff for this, like a tons. Uh, and well, let's start from the beginning with the introduction of the library. You will see two folders, instruments and multis. First, we will take a look at the instruments, hear some sounds, talk about some technical stuff, and then we will move to multis because without a talk, about our sequencer, we cannot explain how powerful really multis are. So let's begin and let me probably duplicate this track and the philosophy behind this library is you will build your mixes from the bottom to the top, from the heaviest minus sounds from the heaviest accents to the tonal elements and from the percussion elements to material based sounds, motions, vocal elements, which are exceptional to some tonal exp elements. <laughs> sorry, I really sorry for any hiccups because I'm not a native speaker at all. So yeah, basically uh, about tonal elements, uh, you will see some cellos with some real really, really interesting experimental techniques, uh, nickel harpa, some plucked instruments, but about that later. First of all, we have our main guest, percussion elements. And as you can see, we build everything from the bottom to the top, well, except of kicks and snares. So first you will have your hits, then impacts, which are beautiful, really mean drums, then we've recorded a ton of war drums with a textile or skin membranes with a deep tone that really infuses your tracks with this battle energy. Oh, thanks. We're really happy to actually release this library because it's like amazing. Um, yeah, and then we go to the tribal drums, which are, well, those primal, really interesting deep tones, then you will have your steps and stomps, which will inject everything with energy and real human motions, and claps and snaps, medieval percussions are really interesting because we actually recorded coin pouches, plus tambourines to give this, give it a more medieval vibe, like real medieval vibe. Yeah, and then Shaman percussions with all the 
bells, rattles, and all this atmospheric stuff. And wooden percussions. Everyone love cowbells. No, this is not cowbells. This is some found percussion, some processed found percussion, some sticks. And it really reminiscent of those prehistoric primal eras. And then we have our modern foundation, all the kicks, like punchy modern ones, acoustic tribal, which we layered with some uh, found sounds to make them uh, rap primal actually. So probably let's hear some sounds first if you're ready. How to get this actually you you have um enemies there. Like you have to wait probably twenty four hours and you will be able to download this library actually. Yeah. So in his category we will have some booms, some main hits actually we have some beautiful explosions that sounds like this. Some epic ones, for example. Yep, actually nice. Some debris. Actually, I like I like those a lot. Some low hits. Yep, Jim, I agree. This is kind of fantastic, and all this stuff in between, like a tons of mean bassy sounds to make your main accents inside the track. Uh, uh, actually, this is Reaper. Yeah, just... <laughs> Jim, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, you have to stick to my voice for some time. Well, okay, and after hits we have impacts and I promise you, they will deliver. This is like organic ones. Foley are amazing. And some punchy metals, for example. So those are really useful for feels, for added layers, because they're really mean, heavy, and have a lot of punch and energy inside them. <laughs> I love your comments, guys. So, and now, one of the m main stars of all this show are war drums, as I said before, with all the textile and skin membranes. Just let's have a little listen. And probably let me. Let me just engage this and Yep, and this is just about textile. Like let's listen to Skin Bright. Well, again. I don't know how about you guys, but I think those are amazing. And probably my most beloved ones are massive crunches. Like those are really, really interesting signature sounds. And those are really awesome to layer with hits, with impacts, with actually almost everything you can imagine. Next up, our tribal drums. 
with a really beautiful collection. I really love, most of all, I love sub hits. Like. And some deep hits, probably. And just with a simple sequence, it will do wonders. Really love this stuff. Like, I really think we nailed it with tribal drums. Oh yeah, I think everybody needs to get their hands on this library, to be honest, but Okay, <laughs> next up, our steps and stomps. And as you can see, I hope you can see this, we have a lot like armor, chains, just reverberated stomps, signatures, punchy stomps, environmental. Like, for example, let's listen to some armors. <laughs> And the punchy ones, for example. Yeah, that's about steps and stomps, and they can bring a lot of live energy, and it really shows you all the warriors and all this marching stuff. So, love to use it. Well, claps and snaps. Kind of average category, but still, I think those are pretty. And snaps that are really exceptional to add some tick to your sounds. Or actually, for something like... Yeah, so if you want to do Latina stuff, you're able to. <laughs> okay, next up. Medieval sounds like coin pouch. One of my favorites. Let me see. Some tambourines, like for example, ensemble. Shakers. And for example, some shaker effects. Oh, by the way, the fingers about stabs and stomps. Uh, later in this stream, I will show you the trick inside our engine that allows you to create like massive stomps, claps, especially stomps. Amazing stuff. You have to wait for it. Okay, next up, our wooden percussion. Well, let's start with the reverb. I think it's a very, very important element if we talk about some shaman stuff, some tribal stuff, because it really brings a lot to the atmosphere of this era. And let's look at some process sounds. Yep, for example, like that. 
And well, our basic kicks and snares. Well, let's listen to the tribal ones. But I have to point out that most of our library is comprised with a <coughs> round robin loops. Most of the kicks and snares will be one shot samples. But still, I think those are savage. Like, for example, distorted ones. Yep. And probably let's listen to some snares. And that's it for percussion elements, if we look at them real quick, because there's a lot to discover, like a lot. <laughs> Next up, our material based sounds, we spend enormous amount of time and energy to capture all those because as you can see, we recorded some weapons like sword scratches, sword drags, and well, just <laughs> strikes, scrapes clashes we've recorded anvils like really pretty anvils so let's take a look probably oh yeah long strikes and for example clashes and some scrapes. Those, those are amazing sounds to use as a transition to new elements or as a whoosh to something. Next up, our metals, for example, well, some ringing stuff. Which, with a little tweaks, you can simply transform into real playable plugs. Just engage the stretch mode, for example. And by the way, this is a perfect way to find a perfect pitch for your sample inside your tune. So, yep, always use that. And for example, some anvils. Sorry, it's hard to <laughs> hard to pronounce. Yeah, there will be a huge wave folder with this library. So yeah, just wait a little and you will enjoy it at the fullest. And some ringing anvils, probably. Oh, I love those overtones. Those overtones and those almost bell-ish sounds are so awesome to add when you need a specific accent on a specific part of your beat, like nothing compared to this. Now, elemental percussion. As the name implies, we've recorded a lot of stuff, well, like stones, fire, some AR movements, for example, Massive stones. Can you imagine just 
how many possibilities like sound possibilities are open when you layer those with your conventional hits or just conventional feels or something like that for example complex stones Ooh. and some fire crunches like, by the way fire crunches are exceptional at, at layering with pretty much everything I strongly recommend to try and layer them with tribal drums or war drums to get that extra texture and extra flavor from every beat and some textures textures are really interesting when you need some background noise that moves your beat forward every time this is some fire and this is various found sources Yep, that's all about material-based sounds for now, because probably every category uh, deserves its own stream, but we need to cover almost everything today. So probably let's move on. <clears throat> Vocals. Oh, I'm sorry, probably it was too loud. So let's listen to some tribal shouts. some growls also we have a lot of breaths growls inhales exhales and probably the most beautiful one is this one That's so nice. Damn, that's amazing. I love that stuff. And actually, almost every of my multi patches or my productions starts with those right now love it and let's move to the tonal elements because it's not the biggest category in this library but we've put a lot of love in it for example let's listen oh okay let's process percussion plucked so this is not tonal completely This is an amazing stuff to put on your beat and add something just interesting when you when you're trying to find something I don't know uh, almost tonal but not that much this category is for you shallow is amazing at that stuff and probably some Brahms <laughs> Actually, it makes wonders when you just slightly stretch it.
probably let's listen to some Nickel Harpers. By the way, I have to make a full disclosure. <clears throat> this is not a completely uh, polyphonic instrument that you can play now. It's just one note recorded with a different round robin samples. So yeah, you can stretch it, you can play it as an instrument, but there is not a whole lot of recorded different notes in this one. So yeah, unfortunately, it's not a playable, but still. And probably some nickel hoppers. <laughs> ones, like classic ones. Those are really useful to add uh, some pulses. You can transpose them an octave down and it will make wonders, like real wonders. And let's listen to some plugged basses. something like shamanic or some primal it will make a good a solid base for your bits like you will enjoy it I promise and some tonal effects those are atmosphere oh I'm sorry something went wrong give me a sec mm hmm I really apologize for that. Well, okay. <laughs> tonal elements, tonal effects, metals. Those are just beautiful. Sometimes it go it's good to change your strings, and sometimes it's really good to record when you change your strings. So, Brent Raven, yeah, that's true. And some resonating drones. I think it's fair to say that I just won a Grammy here, but okay. <laughs> Jokes aside, this sounds massive. This sounds really beautiful. Well, so we've covered most of the instruments. By the way, for those who are not ready to purchase the pro version, we have a core version. It's smaller. It's condensed and it packs everything, like everything you need to put your beats. But we just removed everything, well, probably unnecessary or too 
complex to create something so yeah <clears throat> it's a different structure but for those who seek just precise tools without any layering just load and go the core version is definitely for you now let's talk about our sample engine itself and probably I will open my war drums go to the main page and probably it's time to explain myself <laughs> ourselves and this library so we've decided that we want to put round robin samples into loops why because it makes less impact on your memory it loads faster it works faster and we we put those individual samples into loops in an a b manner so each time it will be slightly different sample um, to clarify what a b will be is like the first one is a the second one is b the third one will be a1 and the fourth one will be for example b1 etc 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 why we did that because we wanted to create a different playback playback modes as you can see there's a lot of them and some of them uh, need a little bit of explanation for example well default will just play a b a b a1 b1 a2 b2 etc etc random will just play any sample inside the loop just any a b will preserve the a b relations between samples but each time it will choose a and b somewhere inside the loop it may be at the end of the loop at the middle of the loop like we believe in randomness yeah really odd will play only odd samples like the first one the third one etc etc even will play only second and fourth and sixth and so on uh, reversed will play it will not reverse the samples itself it just it will just play b16 a16 b15 a15 etc etc and free <laughs> free is just a free to play mode like one shot that will keep going and going and going uh, depending on your ADSR settings and the shuffle is well it preserves a B relations but each time you start your sequence it will randomly decide whether it be a or B at the start of the of your or of your sequence sorry and then it will play a after B but randomly it will choose inside this loop why did we do that because every time a drummer plays he hits the membrane differently actually kind of randomly and we wanted to pursue this thing we wanted to imitate this real playing experience so and what about dynamic layers you will ask probably and here we've got you covered because we have a pretty beautiful filter here which as you can see reacts to velocity and in low pass mode the higher the velocity the more open filter the more open will be the filter and the lower the velocity the more it will close when it works in uh oh hello david um it's it's when it works in a low pass mode if you switch it to high pass mode the lower the velocity the more closed filter will be and the higher the velocity the more <laughs> low frequency content it will pass through and if you just want to separate specific type of frequencies you can switch this filter to the constant mode and now it will 
will not react to velocities, but it will keep its frequency where it's set. Like, set and forget and move on. <laughs> it's humanizing. Yeah, Brent Raven. It's partly humanizing. Yeah, that's that's not all of it. Just wait a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's bring it back to velocity. Let's bring it back to high pass, probably. And now let's talk. Let's talk layers. Uh, probably some of you are familiar with our watch keeper, watch keeper library, I'm sorry. Um, and probably some of you have seen this layers tab. You can find it here with the default doubling and tripling settings. I want to put all my attention into tripling because in this version, we added a pitch drift. What it means, if you, if you choose tripling, it will play three slices simultaneously. And first of all, it will drift in time just with a regular drift. Always it will drift for some plus or minus three, four milliseconds and goes right up to 15 milliseconds. And the pitch drift is the next one because now you can dynamically <laughs> send the drift of your sample up or down in sense. So it will add to all those humanizing and all this stuff. I did great. Yeah, thank you to fingers. We also love the watch keeper. But it's time for the berserk to shine actually. So yeah, pitch drift is a new function. It adds even more to this human feeling while the drums are playing. Definitely, you should try this out. And I wanted show I wanted to show you a quick tip for that I probably need to make tempo twice slower. And our delay is actually can go from zero milliseconds up to 200 milliseconds. And when you play with levels, you can achieve some pretty beautiful delays without even using an actual delay. some drift probably if we bring it back yeah so that's an amazing feature if you want to experiment or just add something new probably sometimes unexpected to your beats. This is where you need to go, probably. Okay. By the way, if you hold control or command on Mac, uh, you will be able to set everything to its default state. And now it's probably time to move on to our sequencer for for quite a bit of time. And for starters, Okay, secret archives of the Vatican. How does the library deal with non four by four time signatures? Actually, it deals pretty good because uh, it built on a relevant sequencer, on a uh, DAW dependent sequencer. And actually, uh, like like I will show you just in a few moments, it deals good with almost every time signatures. So, okay. First of all, um, I need to point out that reset all deletes all the info from your sequence, everything from each tab, including your dynamics. So be careful with that knob. And if you want to reset just simple one tab, it's better to use uh, this button. Just simple reset for one tab. And as you can see, all the automations have this knob right here. 
Right, so we have our drums and what I wanted to show you. First of all, hotkeys, control, alt, and shift. If you will hold alt, it will make changes in every step of your sequence. You can delete everything, you can add substeps to your sequence, for example. Now it's four substeps in each step. Yep. Uh, control will let you change through one step. As you can see, here I have four steps, substeps, sorry. Here I have one real decent step. Four again, one again. And shift allows you to make changes through four steps. So this way you actually can dial in sequences really, really fast. Just control, alt, shift, and your mouse. Right, let's go back uh, to our four steps. Uh, sorry, sub steps. And I want to dial in pretty basic syncopated rhythm first. I want to put it here, then I want to put a step through two sub steps, again through two sub steps, and probably through three, three, and let's have a listen. Yep, we have our basic rhythm. What we can do next is just add some filling steps. Yep. And now probably you want to add some step sub steps just before your accents to move your sequence a little bit more. Well, like this, for example, and maybe after one sub step. Yep, this is how I dial in the syncopated rhythms. Next up, what do we do next? As you can see, I can define a region that I want to work with inside my sequence. And then I can just simply hit global paste, increase amount of steps, well, go to the 16th step and just put a global paste. Voila! We have our fully fledged sequence. And probably let's maybe just do this. Like this, and maybe just like this, and like this. Sounds pretty decent to me. We talked about humanizing. First of all, we have a randomized velocity slider, which will vary your sequences by certain amount of percent, which you will define <laughs> by yourself actually. And we have dedicated humanizer that will shift the timings of your sequences of each step or sub step inside of your sequence. So yeah, that's a good that's a good thing to use also. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the retrigger because it has two modes now. Watchkeeper had only one mode. So retrigger, what it does, it cuts the release, the tail phase of the sample at the beginning of the next sample if you see this sign and if we switch to that sign, it will cut the tail at the beginning of the next step or sub step. So it will it will sound slightly different 
and this pauses. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That's kind of neat. Oh, give me just one second. Yeah, so after we've done that, we can simply copy, the, copy this velocity pattern and move it, for example, to the filter tab. Adjust our sensitivity. Choose any of, I think, more than 50 different filters and go from that. And it will sound really lovely. Probably. Now it's time to talk about dynamics. What it is, what it does, what it brings to the table. As you can see, when we switch to the dynamics, we have our velocity pan filter and pitch tabs. You can think of it as a sequencer for your sequences, like adjustable sequence, if you will. Uh, it has passive and active modes. In passive mode, it will simply offset your sequence without adding any steps. For example, let's let me just draw something real quick. In passive mode, if I will activate my velocity, if I will switch on the dynamics, as you can see, our pattern changed slightly. I can do this, for example and it will change everything. In the active mode, for example, we had a few pauses here on our, f on our fourth bar, on our fourth step, I'm sorry. And now, as you can see, I changed it to this form and now we have our full step So basically, uh, the difference between active and passive dynamics is that passive don't change anything, doesn't change anything inside of your pattern. Active does. But each time you switch it off, it returns to normal and everything is fine again. Why is it actually cool? Because throughout your track, you want some um, you want some movement, you want things to happen or not happen at the certain times. And personally me, I love to switch to active dynamics and just exclude some steps probably for, for the beginning of the track and then I will bring them back closer to the end of the track. For example, we did that and now our sequence looks like this. Etc. Etc. And now, if we will duplicate this track, we can simply reset our dynamics and we will get our fully fledged sequence. Joey and Free Hours Music. Yes, uh, as I told at the beginning of our stream, um, we have some technical issues with the installer and we hope we will fix it in 24 hours max. So probably really, really soon you will be able to lay your hands on this library and everything will be just perfect. So yeah. This is con uh, this is something considering dynamics, and as you can see, you can offset your pan, filter, and even pitch. If we talk about pitch, 
we can see that we can control our sequences in semitones, which is great for some melodic material. And in sense, that is really awesome if you want to create just a little variations. It will drift slightly and yeah it's a beautiful stuff to have and by the way I told you we love some randomness in our music sometimes so we have a beautiful random button in here well probably now it's too hard but let's listen to it oh and by the way I need to take this down And if we adjust it slightly, it will be less pronounced, but it will make much more sense. Yeah, great. And if we talk layers again, as you can see, we need to activate the layers. And we have a threshold slider. So in this tab, you can manually adjust your doubling or tripling for each step or sub-step. And, oh, hi Dirk. If you want to, or if you're out of time, or you just value your time, you can set the threshold slider and just hit a range. And it will listen to the highest velocity is like as you can see from 87 until 127 actually uh, until a hundred percent and it will arrange it automatically and put all the doublings in place yep and probably now it's time to talk about our rhythm browser and all the great stuff that happens inside it. So if we will go to all categories, you will see that we have 4546 rhythm presets that were created by hands manually with almost all the automation um, lines. So you will have your dynamics, you will have your filter, some doubling, probably some panning. And there's a lot of categories inside it. And as you can see, we have straights, triplets, and it gets kind of clunky if you look at it like this. So what we did is we invented this, um, this slider, which will set you to straight rhythms, triplet ones and both both yes both so in triplets you will see only triplet categories in straight you will see only straight ones and in both yeah you will probably see everything why is it very important because we have our construct random and pick random buttons and And this is where it gets funny. Okay, if we want another, uh, yep, more patches. Yeah, actually, let's switch patches. Mm. Probably. Let's make it on tribal drums. Yep, this will do the trick. Now, Let's go for the straights again and probably for the war drums. Complex. Again, copy this to the filter and get back to our browser. So, construct random rhythm. We'll watch 
which category you're at. For example, if it's war drums, it will analyze all the rhythms in this category and create a new one from scratch. For example, well, okay, let's just hit it and click don't ask this again. We have our new rhythm. Now, if we want to change something, we can just let's say we want to fill. And then we go to the fills category. <laughs> and then we want to pick something random. And as you can see, it will change the rhythm just inside this area. So we can go from 15 to 16. Click that again. Yeah. Let's hear what we've got. So basically, you can choose any area you want and fill it with any rhythm you want just by going to the dedicated category. Boom. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So the difference between construct random and pick random is the next one. When you choose to construct rhythm, it will analyze all the rhythms and create new. It will take pieces of each rhythm and put them together by the really advanced advanced algorithm that we that we made. And if you click on the pick random, it will not create anything. It will just load one of many, many presets. But the trick is you have to be aware of it. It looks on the category you're at. So if you're in the main drums, it will pick only main drums. If you're in the countdowns, it will pick or construct only from countdown rhythms. But if you're in all categories, it, it will create or pick a new rhythm from all four and a half thousand rhythms. So if you feel lucky or you want to experiment, be our guest, please. But it's an awesome way to create something new just in a few seconds. And yeah, as always, you can start your favorite presets, you can look them up by your start presets and category categories, you can load them with only rhythm because if I will switch it off, and I will go for example, for word drums, we see that we have our velocity, we have our filter, probably we want to use some dynamics for that. And now, if I will hit next preset, we will lose everything regardless to regarding to filter or dynamics. But if I will press load rhythm only, it will load only the rhythm. Any of them? Any? Yep. But all the other automation will stay intact, like completely intact. That's why this button is a very important one. Now, I've got a next topic for you. And this is one about stomps. We've heard them al already. And now probably it's time to create a new massive stomp. Well, let's just reset everything and deactivate this one. And as you can hear, we just have our stomps, right? Nice. Oh, yeah, the fingers. This is your time to shine. So we have actually nothing in our sequencer. And first that we need to do is to go to the sound design territory. And for that, 
we have a special folder. Now, we can choose massive stomps. We want to bring our frequency to hertz mode. And, oops, sorry. And <laughs> one more important button is play once because it will stop the sequencer after one circle. But now we need to choose the key sequence. And now you can see that each step has its own dedicated key on your keyboard. Why is that important? Because now when we hit a key, we can randomize our keys, our sequence or keys and sequence together. And we will get completely different sounds. And if you want to loosen this sample a bit, you can just drop the frequency. And create something truly massive. And this technique is amazing when you need to create some really massive stomps, really massive claps, or even shouts, because it really works the same way. And it will help you a lot because you can generate your own sounds in just a few clicks. As easy as it gets, I guess. Oof, this one is really really beautiful. And now it's probably time to talk about our MIDI. So we have our sequence. And probably you want to use it with another instrument. Well, I have Watchkeeper here, just an example. So what our get MIDI does. It gets your MIDI. It counts everything like humanizer, randomized velocity, dynamics, and even groove maker that we will touch just in a few minutes. And when you click the get MIDI button, you can actually see that now we have our pattern just for the different instrument. Let's hear it with our drums. <laughs> so this way you can layer almost everything with almost everything. This is a great one. So now it's time to talk about our groove maker, because it's really something awesome. As you can see, I have a multi patch here. And it contains some hits, some war drums. And for now, they all have the same rhythm. Just just to clarify this. Yep. All the same. And what what do we want to do is just to extract some bits for extract some steps for hits, some step for our first war drums, and some steps for our second war drums. So what do we can do about this? We can open the groove maker. And as you can see, we have skip steps function as the first one. So what skip steps does is it determines the threshold, the low, the highest threshold and the lowest threshold where skipping will occur. 
and then you have your oops sorry I'm sorry and then you have your percentage of happening so actually it's like it's just like a chance of happening so for example if we will take like from 0 to 30 with a 50% chance our beat will sound like this hmm. I am sorry this is the first time for me Okay, so it keeps up some steps. Now, what we want to do, we want to tell our engine, just please skip everything, like everything below, for example, below 85% with a 100% chance. So what we will hear now, Boom! Amazing! Now, the next thing, we wanna take our war drums and do almost the same, but this time we want to tell that please skip everything from probably 100 to, yeah, 85. And It will skip those steps. And now we can go to our third patch. And tell like, okay, take everything from 100 until probably, well, yeah, 47. And skip it with a 100% chance. Yes, it will overlap with our previous war drums. But let's just check it. Oops. now if we will listen to everything together now what we can do next we can actually hit apply apply and apply again and we have our new rhythms that we can actually shift in any direction we want and by the way if you will hold control while <laughs> clicking on those arrows it will move not by the whole step but by the step subdivisions so we can move it like this and then probably like this and it will sound completely different So, as you can see, the possibilities are almost endless. And why is it, why is it so beautiful? Because, as I said before, we have our Get MIDI. And now, when you did all that, you can, again, extract this MIDI and put it on any track you want. So, how cool is that? What do you think? Eh, what do you think? Where are my questions? Guys, please, if you have any questions, just hit me up with them. I will gladly will <laughs> answer any. Probably it's time for us to go. Well, we talked about dynamics. We talked about our construct, groove maker, get MIDI and play once, probably. Now it's time to move to our multis. And as you can see, we have elements and multi kits. Well, here in Keep Forest, we really love the idea of some elements that you can 
put together and have a different result. For example, in elements you will find uh, everything um, about hits, kicks and snares and those are generated with rhythms, with layers to sound like it should sound actually. We will listen to just some of them. For example, some metals. Or organic ones. So, idea behind those elements is you can take something for example like hits like low foundations actually let's listen to them war pulses then you can take something like wooden percussion or maybe you can just take something like I don't know, whooshes, for example. And just with all those different elements, you can build your own rhythms and your own kits Probably in a few minutes, like you have everything from tonal stuff some Nicola Harpers. And some low accents that are awesome. How cool is that, actually? And probably let's listen to some weapons tracks, but because those are awesome also. I'm sorry. do you like that and so the idea is you take your building blocks you put them together and you have your original interesting always moving drum patterns with some tonal elements with some sound design with breaths actually probably we need to listen to them also <sighs> Some simple ones, just like layers to add some atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, and probably some shame, shaman percussion.
probably I should not do this at the moment, but we have one more star of the show. It's our proprietary KSP engine <laughs> for our library that allows you to control multiple patches at one time. In a few clicks, you can create something entirely new. And if you ask yourself a question, probably maybe me, <laughs> Uh, if you ask me, so, okay, you did all this stuff, how do we control it? Actually, we have a huge amount of everything that can control all the patches simultaneously. For example, if we will go to the sequencer, as you can see, we have construct rhythm for everything, random rhythm for everything. And if you want to s load the same rhythm to all the patches you can do that for example let me just close all of this go to my instruments go to my beloved war drums and just okay let's let's just load four of them at once just for the sake of experiment so now we need to Set the same channel for all of them. A1, A1, and A1 again. Yeah, all the same channels. And now we can, for example, go to the war drums and load the same random rhythm for all of them. As you can see, this one has it, this one has it, and this one also has it. And it will sound probably like this. Whoops. We just need to activate it. And now let's make tempo X2. Next rhythm, probably something like, no. Oops. And almost every, every function of the berserk is present here. So you can randomize your pitch. You can create awesome sequences of different keys. But I will not cover all of the functions in here today. I think it's, it deserves its own stream, so stay tuned. It should be kind of awesome. But if you want to, you can do this. And one more example. We can load probably. Let's go to the tribal drums. Yep, shall we? Okay, let's go to the hits main, which sound like this. And let's do something real quick. Really, really simple. Something like. Ta 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 ta. It will sound like this. And probably slightly more filtering. Let's pretend that we like this rhythm. What we can do now? We can hold Alt and click the Save button. After that, we can go to War Drums, for example. Let's let's take this one. Yeah. Make it the A1. And now we can open our script, hold Alt again 
and hit the same random rhythm. Now it will have the same pattern immediately. So this is how easy layering is. This is how easy it is to dial sequences right now in Berserk. And I I would love to hear something from you. What do you think about it? Because actually we think it's amazing stuff. So again, if you have any questions, uh, thank you Thomas Schmidt, uh, by the way. Yeah, we really love how it sounds also. So yeah, thank you. We appreciate it. Time signatures. About time signatures. Look at this. So it fully reacts to your DAW. So if you work in a 5x4 or 8x6, I don't know, any. First of all, it fully reacts and it has frequency, which can play in any time signature and your steps can be uh, divided by 4 by 3, by 2, by 5, by 7, up to 8 stop steps, st <laughs> sorry, sub steps for each step. So it really works in, in even and uneven time signatures well. And you can also um, choose shorter sequences or longer, even, uneven length. There's no problem with that at all. And actually, for those who really, really love some <clears throat> unconventional, let's say this way, uh, signature, uh, signature rhythms, we have a dedicated folder in here. First of all, polyrhythms and signatures. The signature folder is completely about all those 5x4 and 7x4 time signatures. So you should definitely try it out. I think you will love it, especially on the tribal drums, because it's actually it actually was created for tribal drums. Yeah. And give me just a second, or maybe a few seconds, because we've had a question about a wave folder. Yep. We actually have it. Just let me just let me open it real quick. <laughs> A few moments. We have an enormous wave folder. <laughs> yeah. And it contains. Oh, sorry. It's not the time for one shots, but uh, I have to tell you yes, we have a huge wave, wave folder with one shots with drum loops, with tonal loops, and with stems. And by the way, <laughs> while I remember about stems, let me actually delete <laughs> everything, because why not? And we have our war drums probably with, with just one instrument inside, I hope. No? No? Okay. Let's delete you and let's delete everybody. And probably let's duplicate those tracks a few times because it's time for the multis and not elements, but the full multi kit. And as you can see, we have our folders like punk folk, Warrior Steps, Root Rhythms, Shamanic Tension, and Cyber Tribal. And 
each of them contains a lot of great stuff like for example here you can here you can see all the folders with kids and what does kid mean actually as you can see we have our foundation drums our enhancers and our tonal elements and supportive elements so what does that mean if we will load foundations just foundations without anything else whoops where are you Interesting. And probably let's make a tempo like 120. Like the creator implies. Oh, hi. Audic. Audio kidnap music. It's nice to see you here with us. So, the foundation is. As the name implies, again, a foundation of your tracks, all the necessary elements that will move your sequence further. Hits, kicks, claps, tribal drums, war drums, everything is inside the foundation track. So next, we will probably load some enhancers. What do you think about it? Oops, I am sorry, enhancers, like words for example yep let's solo it not that impressive by itself but with a foundation oh come on guys Yeah. Now, all that's left to do, where were we? Is to load some supportive rhythm. And together, it will sound like this. Yeah. And the idea behind this solution is that you can mix and match different sources. Like, for example, you can take something from a punk folk folder you can take well let's listen to some warrior steps for example you can take foundation from the warrior steps some enhances from punk folk and even something from the cyber tribal and create your own tune like in no time <laughs> Just for the sake of experiment, let's do that, actually. So, we had our warrior steps, now probably, why not, let's go to the cyber tribal. Let's go to something like Berserk bit, probably, and load some supportives. And now it will sound. And we need some enhancers, and probably I will duplicate this also. Because here I want to take something from, well, let's take something from Shamanic Tension, for example. Mammoth Hunt will suffice, I think, probably, maybe. the top of the K 
cake will probably want something, something, something. Something tonal. What do you think about it? Like ritual of deceit? Nope. Nope, not the ritual of deceit. Okay, let's go probably, yep, for something minimalistic, but, but really interesting. Yep. Everything is in place. I will just make something a little quieter. Or dynamic chaos for tonals, and then probably we will go to. Oh, okay, let's go to the cyber tribal for some foundations like. Neo-Viking, for example. And it will, it will completely transform everything. Like, everything. And now you can only imagine with all the possibilities of the random functions with our KSP script with, that can control everything inside the multi-instrument, you can always create something new constantly. There is no limit to that. And with all that said, we only scratch the surface of this library because there are so many possibilities with it from, as I said, one shot sound design like massive steps, massive clap, everything to actual construction kits where you can find your own sounds, you can mute something, you can add some sounds, you can completely transform it. Well, okay, just just for the sake of the experiment, let's take the foundations and probably, okay, let's just randomize keys. Try randomizing everything in that multi. Uh, I'm afraid that that's not a wise choice, but let's do some randomize. Now we can probably use some dynamic gaps or random dynamic shift, we can randomize each dynamic tap just by pressing one button. And it will make like a huge difference because each time you will play, you will uh, actually press randomize all or random dynamic shift, it will actually create dynamic LFOs and then it will randomly shift their positions. So all the sounds will s will morph into each other. So this is really cool stuff. And just by the way, if you don't need any dynamic at all, you can just simply switch it off and use your modulation will to do everything like no sound at all whoops sorry about that so actually every bit is alive, you can automate, well, almost everything inside our library except of some functions, yes, because <laughs> it's not actually possible. But if you want some more dynamic, some more life to your multi-instruments or your individual presets, it's easily achievable with your modulation will, with your dynamics, with all the randomized functions. It's a breeze, like, you really have to try it out, just wait like for 24 hours max we promise you 
So, and that brings us to our wait. Oh, sorry, <laughs> wave folder because first of all, it has all the one shots that you need if you don't want to use a contact for some reason because you have all the impacts from this library all the hits all the tribal drums that you can use with any sampler yeah with any sampler you want so just let's listen to some of them my i'm sorry tribal drums are my favorite well some steps some punches some whooshes like actually all those creaks all those scratches okay well it seems like there is no sound inside inside the browser hmm. which is kind of strange but yeah yeah huh let me do something with that real quick like for example we can do something like this All those scratches, all those whooshes here for you. Some impacts. Yeah, why not? Folly hits. Let's let me delete this. Let me put this on this track and <laughs> oh. Oops. Some really juicy impacts. Probably let's get back to some punches because I think you will love them. For example, some metal punches. Bam, bam, and like this. Now let's go for something probably more interesting. Like you have your drum loops. Again, those are your construction kits. If you don't want to use the contact library, you can use just those wave files. As you can see, Okay, we have our hits, probably we can go for some fills. Listen to those also. Yep. Okay, we have a lot of them. So you can actually mix and match everything with almost everything. So yep, your drum loops are essentially building blocks for your new tracks. With weapon strikes. with all the elemental percussion like this for example and probably let's hear some breaths 
again. Next, we've got our tonal loops with some amazing basses and pulses. Probably some signature breezes. Let's listen to those. And voices. <laughs> All those wave loops were additionally mixed, so you don't have to do anything. Almost every loop inside this category will perfectly match with all other layers. <laughs> During crunch, yeah, I agree. When, when it's time to work fast, I think modular drone is really good to have our libraries because they are real time savers as i said previously <laughs> and now we came to our stems category again as well as our multi instruments those are the same thing but in a way format so you don't have to load everything inside your contact probably you have some small or uh, small sorry slow hard drive or something like that or you have a lot of impact on your system already but you need to find something as awesome as the berserk and for that reason we have our stem folder when you can find well almost everything you can possibly imagine for your tunes like separate impacts, separate war drums and hits. I need to go down like this. Sorry. And again, the craziest and the coolest thing is you can mix and match everything with almost everything. It will be time stretched without no problems at all. So yeah, probably I want to add some breaths. Probably I want some enhances and maybe, I don't know, tribal drums. This may be really awesome. As simple as that, or we can just delete this, 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 and probably this, and go to the, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, core have the same wave content as the pro. And we need something more, probably from warrior steps. Why not? Shouts and well, swords. I think that that's really awesome stuff when you can combine anything, like really anything. And 
I think 99% of the time everything will sound everything will sound just perfect. So in a short time you will be able to try it all by yourself. You just have to wait until the installer is fixed. It's like like I said, it's about 24 hours max. And for today, we I know we only scratched the surface of this library, but I think that's it for today. I really glad that you came here today that I had all your attention and that our library had so much attention and so much of cr really cool questions and I think the atmosphere was really cool. I hope you appreciate me as a host and please give us likes, give us comments, write us what do you think about this library when you try it. We will really glad to hear from you. So. That's it for today. Stay tuned for our next streams where we will cover some of our KSP engine, maybe some experiments with multi instruments. Probably we will randomize everything at the same time. We will hit all the random buttons and it will be fun. I promise you. So thanks for joining us. Have a good day. And I really hope to see you again. Bye for today.